You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, bold fans. Belinda from Soap Dirt here, and we got to talk about the Luna Nazawa paternity bombshell that surprised nobody but Lee Finnegan. Although Poopy Poppy seemed kind of surprised too, which makes me wonder exactly how many men was she banging 20 years ago? We may never know. But the big question in my mind is, will Luna get to meet all three of her brothers? Will Wyatt Spencer return to meet and greet his new sister? And what about little brother Will? Let's talk about this in a comings and goings update. But first, please subscribe if you're not already following us. We appreciate your your support. All right. So it's been a hot minute since we saw Wyatt Spencer on Bold and the Beautiful. And I hated to see Darren Brooks go, even though he'd not had a decent storyline of his own in quite some time. On October 19th, 2023, months and months ago, Darren Brooks took it upon himself to tell fans he had been written off the CBS soap opera because Bold just gets rid of people and they don't tell fans like how they denied they were getting rid of Krista as Taylor and there she was gone. So after more than a decade and more than 1100 episodes, B&B let Darren Brooks go without one word to fans. Three months after he said he was no longer on the show, they finally wrote him an exit. Maybe fan outcry and outrage made them do the right thing. I don't know. So they brought back Darren Brooks for two whole episodes of B&B in mid-January for Wyatt to announce he needed to change and was leaving LA. Then he left. Back in October, you know, Darren Brooks said this, until we meet again, so many of you have seen that I am no longer in the credits on Bold and the Beautiful. And after 10 amazing years, it's time for me to say, until we meet again to Wyatt Spencer. Doesn't mean it's the end, just by for now. And then like the class act that he is, Darren Brooks went on to thank Brad Bell and the fans, yada, yada, yada. So when they brought back Wyatt for just a moment, he told Bell he was moving and said he had a renter for his beach house. RJ Forster, by the way, you know, Luna's boyfriend. Little did Wyatt know he was renting out the beach house to a guy who had taken his sister's V card and then told everybody at work like a total jacked up tool. All right, sorry. I I just, I really hate that RJ tells Luna's business to literally everyone. It's disgustingly disrespectful. Anyway, the day that Wyatt told Bill he was leaving LA, his dad blabbed to him all about how he met Poppy Nazawa at a music fest 20 years ago and that they, you know, banged their brains out and are now dating and clearly banging again. Wyatt was happy for his dad since Katie Logan wasn't giving him the time of day. Then fast forward almost five months and we just found out on Bold that Luna is Bill's daughter, which can I say is the dullest thing they could have done. Talk about anticlimactic. But I'm also of two minds on this. So first, the side of my brain that likes to think of really exciting twists for the soaps, that side of my brain is like lame. It should have been Jack Finnegan or his son, Dr. Fem. They had dropped so many hints and Poppy was so ashamed of whoever the dad was. And I just have to say, I would like it better if we find out later that Poppy did give her adoptive nephew some medicated mints and they had a little carnal whoopsie. Then I would let this lame anticlimactic thing go. Because remember, they kept dropping hints. Poppy was basically, you know, eyeballing Finn in a very creepy way at Forrester Creations, making those big eyes. Plus, all the stuff about her living with them when he was in college and how she liked to help him relax. Maybe they'll reveal it and it just comes out that it's a blessing that Finn's not the one who impregnated his Aunt Poppy. If they don't go there, then it was just sloppy writing that was intentionally misleading. Bold is really bad about that. So the other side of my brain is the one that thinks about characters I love that aren't getting any screen time. Bill Spencer is at the top of my list for B&B for that reason. We have seen 
way too much of RJ, Luna, and Zende, and not near enough of Dollar Bill and his studly, manly, obnoxious, but handsome face. Unfortunately, with the reveal that Bill's the one who sperminated Poppy, we're going to see plenty more of RJ and Luna, probably more of RJ than we want. However, Bill probably won't be thrilled that his latest mystery spawn is in bed with a Forrester Logan hybrid spawn. Hopefully, Bill will tell RJ to keep his mouth shut about his daughter's private life or he'll kick him and his overblown biceps back to Forrester Creations. Now, Luna not only got a dad with this paternity twist, but she also got three brothers, two grown and one who's still a kid. Katie Logan's not going to be happy about this revelation. She seems to be reconsidering her stance on Bill and a romantic future, but I think that ship sailed when Poppy plopped herself back into his life. And I bet Katie's not going to want their son Will around Poppy. Maybe around Luna, but not around her mom, especially since Katie gets this doom and gloom warning from Lee Finnegan this week to watch her back around her sister. Clearly, to me, Lee's jealous. She had a thing for Bill after he saved her, but it never went anywhere. So Katie and Lee could go have coffee and complain about Poppy getting to ride the stallion while they're both on the sidelines. At any rate, we also haven't seen Katie and Bill's son, Will, in quite a while. So I do wonder if he will return as well. They've done a couple of recasts on the kid. At one point, Heather Tom, who plays Katie, her son was playing the role of her TV son as well as her real life son. I'm guessing that if they bring back Will, it's going to be an older recast, maybe with a bit of Saurus for Spice. Liam seems pretty cool about having a new sister, but if Will is like an angry teen when he returns, he might resent her. But... Most importantly, I want to talk about why it's Spencer. I remember him saying he was leaving LA, but I can't remember where he was going, if he even said it. But since Bald brought Darren back for a couple of episodes early this year, and he seems open to a quick return, I fully expect that they will get him back for a moment, at least so Wyatt can meet Luna Nazawa Spencer. I'm guessing Bill will insist she take his name. And remember, recently they brought Ashley Brewer back for, what, two whole episodes as Ivy? It was ridiculous. And they had brought Darren back for just two in January. So I don't expect a full-fledged, full-time return of Wyatt Spencer, but I would expect a Spencer family get-together to introduce Luna to all his boys. And I further expect Bill to try and spoil Luna Rotten to make up for missing out on her entire childhood, not his fault. Liam will likely be nice to her, Wyatt too. I'm counting on Will to make a scene about this new sister and his dad's ongoing issue of adult children being dropped into his life because their mothers didn't want him around. In Poppy's case, she didn't know the truth, but she could have tried harder to find it out back then. You know, maybe they just bumped naughty bits at the festival without using protection, which is just gross, and they never swapped last names or phone numbers, stuff like that. And the whole, I love you from the moment I met you out of Poppy did nothing for me. Get that woman a shovel, because if she wasn't before, she's definitely... Gold digging now. Her sister was right about it. I feel certain about that. And I just wonder, this would be really wild, aside from the Wyatt return, if Poppy is with Bill, but Lee is jealous and wants him, and Katie is jealous and wants him. That would be kind of an amazing comeback storyline for Bill Spencer, who has not had a storyline of his own since that stupid Sheila Carter FBI Ridge sting thing that they wrote, which was terrible writing, and it was just, ugh, anyway. Um, I think it would be a whole lot of fun if Bill had three women after him. That would be kind of amazing. And I think it would be complicated for him, complicated for Luna. I really enjoyed the dynamic when he found out that Luna was his daughter, how glad he was and how excited that he finally has a daughter. I still in the back of my mind, and I know some of you guys are too, hoping that Kelly Spencer is really his daughter. Because remember, the day that Steffi went in to the hospital to have the paternity test, Bill was lurking around for no reason. And that got us all excited. And that's another case where Bold teased something actually dramatic and interesting 
And then they under delivered and they gave us, oh, it's Liam's kid. It's like, oh, okay. You know, I guess that's my primary frustration with Bald and the Beautiful most of the time is that they build up to what could be something super dramatic and super interesting. And then at the five yard line, they drop the ball, they fumble it and it turns into nothing. Is that a, an apt sports metaphor? I don't really watch American football. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you think, guys. Are you excited that Bill is Luna's daddy, or do you wish it were someone else? Do you wish it was Jack Finnegan? Do you wish it was Ben? Do you wish it was literally anybody else from Bill Spencer? And are you excited at the prospect of getting a recast Will, maybe an angsty teen to terrorize his new big sister? And what do you think? Should they bring back Darren Brooks as Wyatt Spencer to meet the new young lady in their dad's life, their new sister? I think they need to. Drop your comments, subscribe if you have it, and come back soon. We're here talking Bald and the Beautiful seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 